Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over what you guys need to do right now in Madden 20. Now the last video I made on this was I think like three weeks ago and you guys showed a ton of support in the video so I want to say thank you guys very much for that and of course if there's any of the videos you guys want me to make something specifically you think I should talk about so that more people know about let me know down below but I'm going to try to keep you guys on pace with Madden Ultimate Team what you need to be doing I think there's some things that people don't even realize you can be doing right now that will set you up for way later down the road and will be very very good so I guess the first thing I'm going to be talking about is, of course, the Mutt 10. So, yes, you need to get through the Mutt 10 solos. Everybody knows this. Everyone knows you need to be completing the Madden Ultimate Team 10 challenges. But I got a lot of comments on this, and I've also got people in my DMs on Twitter asking me, Hey, Zerk, you know, if I miss a week, what's going to happen? Well, there's only going to be 10 total weeks of the Madden Ultimate Team 10 challenges, guys. And you can see here that I, of course, did actually this one on three stars all you need to do is complete them on three stars you don't have to get all five like i do with bo jackson but if you get them on three stars and you do in fact go ahead and get yourself the mutt 10 token and the power up player that is what you need to be doing if you miss any of the 10 weeks you can't get it and what you guys get actually if you aren't aware is you get yourself a fantasy pack of nat yes they're going to be non-auctionable non-tradable after all 10 weeks if you guys go ahead and complete all of the challenges you get these collectibles, you can go ahead and add into this set over here, and at the end of the 10 weeks, you will get a fantasy pack that allows you to choose any of these 10 players for your team. Now, of course, you know, we got Bo Jackson, we got Patrick Willis. Uh, over the course of the next eight weeks, because we have eight more players, still have safety, wide receiver, O-lineman, quarterback, defensive lineman, to cornerback, wild guard, and of course, tight end. That is going to allow you to get any of those players. Now, we don't know who they are yet, but more than likely you're probably going to want to go with some of the later guys right so like one of the the final three or final four guys because they're going to be like 92 93 overall possibly instead of like 91 patch post 91 bo jackson probably gonna be better players out than them in eight weeks from now so just keep that in mind so make sure you guys get those madden ultimate team 10 challenges done they are only available until from friday at 4 p.m until monday at 10 30 a.m so if you guys watch the video right now get that challenge done right now but also, something very, very important. It's something that I think not a lot of people realize you can do, and it's something that I personally even need to do as well. So, with the Team of the Week challenges, as you guys can see, this challenge right here ends on the 10th. So yes, they did go ahead and drop the preseason Team of the Week on a Friday. It was a little bit weird, but usually Team of the Week is going to be every single Tuesday. Now, if you didn't know, and if you take a look at these challenges, right, there's two challenges you guys can go ahead and get done. There's Dalvin Cook and then the Bradley Chubb Challenge. Now, of course, for the Tier 1, you get yourself the Team of the Year tokens. I'm going to go over that and let you guys know a little bit more about that as well. For the Tier 2, of course, it is a Gold Plus Team of the Week player. If you get 6 stars total, and if you get 10 stars, you get 1,000 coins. Now, of course, there is going to be the Team of the Week preseason, and then there's going to be 17 regular season Team of the Week games as well. Now, there might be playoff Team of the Week. I don't really know, and we don't know if those are going to actually be used in the set. But with these Team of the Year tokens, what we can actually go ahead and use these for based off of last year, of course, and past couple years they've been used for, and it's pretty obvious with the same Team of the Year this year, usually just as Team of the Week, but this year it actually just straight up says Team of the Year. This is going to be used in Team of the Year. This collectible token will be redeemable for a special award in the Team of the Year set after the end of the regular season. Now, last year this came out January 14th. Now, of course, that's 18 weeks you guys can go ahead and get challenges done. Last year, the set was 15 Team of the Week uh, tokens. So, if you're wondering what the set gets you, the set last year actually got you a Team of the Year Fantasy Pack. Now, in years past, it had just been a single Team of the Year player, just a random Team of the Year pack. Last year was actually a Fantasy Pack. So, you got to choose between an offensive player, a defensive player, and a special teams player, which was really awesome. But here's the thing. Now, they could make it differently from last year, of course, and maybe they will. But last year, the players were auctionable. If you don't believe me, go check it out. You can check my video out from last year as well. 
the, the, the players were actually auctionable that you got from the set. So if you guys went ahead and do all the Team of the Year solos, you can get yourself all these Team of the Year tokens and get yourself a free Team of the Year player. Now, will it be auctionable? I'm not sure. Will it be NAT? Possible. But here's the thing. You need to be doing these on multiple accounts so if you guys don't have farm accounts it's pretty simple to go ahead and do literally all you have to do is just make a new email you know whatever over there make a new account on your xbox or your playstation i believe on xbox you can have up to five total accounts that you have on there that you can play madden on so you can make up to four extra accounts now of course if you guys want to go ahead and do this on multiple accounts there's so many different things you could possibly do with this let's say you went and did all these challenges five accounts, and yes i know right it, it can take a bit of a time to do now of course it only takes one challenge you're going to do so maybe you're looking at 10 minutes per challenge if you want to go ahead and do it and it's completely optional. You don't have to go ahead and do it. But if you have the extra spare time, just go make extra accounts. I, of course, be doing this on at least two more accounts because if these players end up being auctionable, it's 100% going to be worth it. Now, of course, let's say that the Team of the Year players are NAT. Still, that's the thing this year is he actually gives you a way to go ahead and use training points. So let's go ahead and say they make them auctionable, right? Well, that's simple. You can, have, you can do two things, right? You can either A, Trade it over to your main account, right? And let's say you get a 95 overall player, whatever. It's quick sells for, I don't even know how much training. Not sure how much it's going to be. Like over 20K training, right? So let's say you go ahead and quick sell that 95 overall player, whatever. You can then do heavyweight packs and do flashback packs or whatever other packs are going to be in the store. I'd imagine they'll continuously update these packs, the flashbacks, the heavyweights, bring out something else to do with training, give us some sort of player packs to have here. Maybe even during the Team of the Year promo itself, they'll have Team of the Year player packs and get done. So... If you guys get them done on your main, on your side account, stream over your main account, quick sell the card, maybe you'll be able to get yourself free Team of the Year players just like that. But let's say you don't want to do that. Okay, here's what you can do. You can sell that player over on that account, right? Because obviously, if you, when you trade cards in Madden, they become NA, non optional So if you trade a card from your side account to your main account, you cannot trade that card. But you can trade it back and you can quick sell it. But if you trade it back, then it's going to be auctionable again. So you can do multiple things. One, trade it over, use it for now. And then once you're done with the card, trade it back over or just quick sell it and then do training packs, whatever. Uh, two, you can sell it on your side account. And then, of course, maybe you want to pick up, say, you know, a 90 five overall Zeke or whatever, right? So say you have 300,000 coins over on your side account now because you sold the player you got, you didn't really care for, right? You just go ahead and buy the Zeke, trade it over to your main account and use the Zeke until you're done using it. And once you don't want to use that card anymore, just trade it back over to your side account, sell it and pick up a new player that you guys want to go ahead and use. There's a lot of different things that you could potentially do with that aspect of it. But if it's NAT, right? So it's going to be half the training quick sell, then literally all you guys have to do is still just quick sell. Just quick sell the card and go ahead and get yourself training packs. And then, of course, just trade over those players. So if it's NAT, quick sell it. You know, do flashbacks, heavyweights, team of the year packs, whatever is over there on your side account available to do. And just trade those cards over to your main account. Now, also another way you guys can go about this as well, a pretty easy way uh, to actually trade cards over and make them usable. So let's say you want to transfer the coins over from your side account to your main account, right? Very, very simple. It's honestly way simpler when people think about it. So say you do the team of the year set, you get a 95 brawl. You go ahead and sell that 95. Here's what you do. And it's very, very easy to do. Get legend set pieces. All you guys have to do is get legend set pieces because if you trade over, right? Let's say you sold 95, whatever, and then there's 93 overall Michael Vick in the game. All you have to do is go to Michael Vick's set, right? Get all five of his players, trade them over to your main account, and you complete the set. And now you have an auctional Michael Vick. It's very, very simple. So please do yourself a favor, right? Do yourself a favor. Complete the challenges every week. Uh, it could be 15 that you need. It could be 16, 12, 13. I don't know. But last year, it was 15, and there were 18 possible weeks to go ahead and do it, I believe. So make sure you guys are on top of that. And like I said, there's so many different ways that you can complete those challenges and trade over cards to make them auctionable, get a ton of coins. It's, it's very easy. Also, something I recommend you guys get done as soon as you possibly can is working on the Series 1 everything, basically. Now, I don't know when Series 1 ends. I am going to be looking around. Hopefully, we'll get some information soon. We have no information at all. Usually, Series, like, they have, like, some sort of date on them anywhere on this, but we just don't have anything like that this year. And apparently, once Series 1 is done, right, so say I have 500 trophies sitting there and Series 2 comes out. 
Those trophies will get converted to Series 2 trophies, but I believe they're going to be at half. So, like, if you have 500 Series 1 trophies, you only have 250 Series 2 trophies. So, you need to make sure you get done as much as you guys possibly can. Play Weekend League, uh, play Solo Battles, play Head to Head, whatever you guys got to do. Get as many trophies as you possibly can and do as many sets as you guys possibly can as of right now. Now, of course, uh, I am only 8 wins away from getting 150. And then I need to do 58 more wins to get 200 wins. But here, that's another 240 Series trophies that I do not want to miss out on. Now, when will Series 2 come out? Well, last year, of course, we had Mud Heroes at the first week of October, and Series 2 was out. So I'd imagine that Series 2 will be coming out sometime within the next maybe three weeks here. Uh, it could be in September, or it could be that first week of October. My personal guess, probably the final week of September for this year. So be on the lookout for that. And, of course, with that will probably come a new journey now of course if you guys have not already done this there is actually a set that you guys can go ahead and complete if you get i think it's a hundred no it's not 100 stars. if you get like max stars in the journey completion as you guys can see here if you can reach the max stars and for the journeys then you go ahead and get those journey completion tokens i don't know what the set is going to be used for i'd imagine it's gonna be some sort of a master player now even myself right I don't have max stars for the journey solos. I really have to get these done. You guys can see for the journey, uh, I only have 138 stars, and I believe the max unit is like 200. So yeah, 200 stars, you get a gold premium player, and you get the journey one completion token. So definitely work on this you can. I know it's a lot of work, and I myself you know this because I haven't completed it either. Uh, I'd imagine the journey part one, though, will probably be there if you guys don't want to do that right now. You can, of course, hold off on that, but make sure you guys are getting your Madden Ultimate Team 10 done, your Team of the Week Challenge done on multiple accounts and getting that done. But I also want to tell you guys about what you need to be doing every single week with these Madden Ultimate Team 10 players and how you guys can take advantage of the market. So, of course, if you guys are looking to get any players that you want, uh, like a specific, oh, a specific position, right? So, we got Bo Jackson, we got Patrick Willis. This week will more than likely be an offensive player, right? So, you're looking at either quarterback, wide receiver, tight end, or lineman. Now, the lineman's kind of hard to predict, so whatever there, but QB wide receiver, and tight end, right? What happens with these Madden Ultimate Team 10 players coming out? These Madden Ultimate Team 10 players coming out gives us not only the 91 overall player, which is just by far the best player at their position, right? But it also gives us an amazing power-up player to go ahead and use, like Patrick Willis, right? He's 89 overall power. I even have that card because it's so good. But what happens to everybody else when these cards come out? The players their position go down in price. Me and Poodle were actually talking about this. So the first week we saw, right, we saw Bo Jackson. You guys probably saw my market my uh, market talk video that I did. And I was like, whoa, you know, the market really went down in these specific players. I was looking at, you know, Marcus Allen was like 190K or something. And everyone was really crashing because Bo came out. This week, we got Patrick Willis. You guys can see Bobby Wagner's down, down to 137. Jesse Tuggle is below 200K. And then, of course, Luke Keekley's 325. Willie Lanier is 798. And people were selling their Willie Lanier to get Patrick Willis because he's just that good. So if you guys are looking to get yourself wide receivers or you want to get a tight end or you want to get a QB, I recommend you wait until the Mutt 10 player comes out. Because let's say, you know, Randy Moss comes out. How's that going to affect the wide receiver market? That is going to change a ton for wide receivers. Jerry Rice, whenever the new wide receiver comes out, I'd imagine Jerry Rice would be like about 225, probably maybe a little bit even less than that, because everyone's going to want to get that new wide receiver, and the power up's going to come out with that new wide receiver, which will allow you to make him at least an 89, unless they make the uh, legend himself a 92, then the, the power up's going to 90, which would be crazy. All these wide receivers should really fall down in price. Some of the top tier wide receivers like Marvin Harrison, D-Jax, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. All these guys will continue to go down in price. And the same thing when it comes to QB. So Steve Young will probably get down in price if it's a pocket passing QB, of course. and Or not passing, a scrambling QB. And everything like that. So keep you guys' eye on the market. Pay attention to it. Whatever players are going to be coming out. You know, maybe you should want to go ahead and pick up players then that maybe you don't want to throughout the rest of the week. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Please, 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 make sure you get done your Madden Ultimate Team 10, 10 challenges. And also, do the Team of the Week solos. Do as many as you possibly can. I don't know how many you're actually going to be using the set. And do it on multiple counts, because as I told you guys, 
There's so many different things you can do. If it's NAT, you quick sell. You use the training points. You get packs in the store. Uh, you go ahead and just do whatever you want to do with that. You know, get flashbacks, heavyweights, whatever else in the store. Trade it over to your main account. Then you can go ahead and quick sell on your main or sell it on your side account. Get legend set pieces. Trade them over to your main account so you get the legends. You can either use the legends or you can sell the legends as well a very simple way to go around it but with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment i'll see you guys next time